games, brains, and head bang life. And we're track by track, and we're going to the heady days of new metal for amens. We have come for your parents. Third album, released October 31st, 2000 via Virgin Records. Big fan of this album back in the day. We used to listen to a lot of it. Well, mainly a lot of the songs on it regularly, not the whole album, because there was a few that I really didn't recognise or yeah. remember. And it was, you know, your big hits, the ones you kind of knew previously as well, particularly, of course, the singles, The Price of Reality, which is the one everyone really remembers. That's the only one I knew before this. I, yeah. I forgot English. I was really out of the loop. Casey Chaos, who thought that was Nick, you know. I thought it was English. I thought it was like an English dude. Okay. I am so out of the loop. Um, I thought it was interesting I, is uh, yeah. last night I went looking, uh, on a time of recording, I went looking to see what Casey Chaos was up to today. Mm. And on Wikipedia, the last of entry was he got drunk, smashed up some cars. Mm. This is like six years ago. Yeah. And uh, the news reporter has like a rampage and it was more like three cars. And that was like it. And I was like, oh. woo, oh, that's okay. a... Not done much, That's eh? a story. He was in, yeah. like, I think, 2014. There was some band or something like that, mm. but I couldn't find out any more details than that. Oh. Yeah. It's a long one, though. It's a long with a lot of short tracks, yeah. but every so often they pepper it with longer tracks, and fuck me, do I have a problem with them for doing that. Yeah. We kick off with CK Killer, mm. CK as in Calvin Klein. It's a slow start, and a, ho and a horrid screech at the very beginning does very little for me. However, when it kicks in, it does improve, especially the chorus, which I think is pretty fire. Mm. One of the early, early examples of why I thought Casey Chaos was the man back in the day. Mm. You know, punkish, snarling, yeah. pissed off, got a lot to say. I thought he was cool as fuck. Mm. And I said, like, I thought it was a really good opening track, fast and angry. Good introduction to the album. Um, another two, just under two minutes, doesn't it? Yeah, outstay its welcome. Yeah, that, that applies to a lot of tracks mm. that would outstay their welcome, yeah. thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> Refuse Amen. I like the guitar rhythm here and the riffs are decent, but it never gets any better than just okay. I was kind of waiting for something to hit mm. and then it just ends. It leans towards the heavier spectrum mm. of Amen's sound, though. Yeah, I, I like the stop start moments and I love the bass drums and open and build. Okay. So I like the sort of like peaks and the peaks and valleys in it. I really enjoyed that. Really? Yeah, okay. I really enjoyed it. And so I prefer the heavier side to things. And it's funny when we say about new metal, like, I always picture new metal as like, the cliche archetypal new metal bands. Yeah. And I don't, I put this in sort of like a punky metalist, punky rock side. So. Okay. Yeah. Justified. Mm. A favourite of mine back in the day. Punky pace and some real snarl in every instrument. I love the guitars that ring out behind there inside the church, inside this church we will burn. Inside this mm. church. That part. Vocal bit. Energetic meeting. I think it's a great song. Mm. I love the way they said that inside that church. We were burn. Yeah, he's really like, <laughs> he's that. got a kind of low growl to his mm. vocals as well. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. That's what stood, stood out to me mm. on that one. Um, great guitars laid with everything else. So it's, it just doesn't feel as like rough as some punk that comes out and it just stands up people just kicking a shit and not really getting on with it. It does feel like it's got some real quality to how they've layered the songs. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Cool, cool, cool. Mm. The Price of Reality, mm, the hit. Yeah. Uh, I think it says a lot about the era and our obsession with new metal that even a men mm. managed to crank out a track that would get a ton of airplay. Mm. Like that is weird if you think yeah. about the album. And it's all about its chorus, which is pretty fire. I don't think it is spectacular, but it certainly highlights the strength of a men, which is the guitars and Casey Kerr's ability to turn his snarl into something listenable. Mm. It's just a The only track I knew about Super Four, the only track I knew before starting is track by track. Um, I think it's still, it's still a really good track. I like the way it spells and builds, great style and vocals, and love the end combination of it all. Really? So I feel like it's a really, I still really enjoy this track. Yeah, okay. Mm. Mayday. Mm. Nothing interesting here, and a bit of a come down from the previous track. Mm. Mind you, it is the first track where I felt I could properly focus on the drumming, but that's because all the other elements weren't registering. Mm. Yeah. I was a bit of an idiot. I thought I was saying medic, even though the song's called Mayday. <laughs> so I gave it the second, like, when I gave it the first listen to the song, I was like, why are they saying medic? And then I played it again, oh, Mayday. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it works together okay, but like I said, nothing special. Especially after the price of reality, I thought that was such a high, it does kind of jar you a little bit. Fair dues. Mm. Under the Robe. 
There's a strong argument that Amen work best when they keep their tracks around three mm. minutes long. This one is just short of four mm. and feels it, which is a shame as it's good. Mm. There's some proper energy where it matters. The chorus is nice and catchy, but just too repetitive. Mm. Just too repetitive. One less verse, one less chorus, it'd and it'd, it'd been fine. Yeah, I said that. Nice with great energy to it. Maybe a little long and nearly four minutes. Yeah. So yeah, we've really noticed a bit. Because I think a lot of this is short, sharp, we're angry. I yep. think prolonged anger doesn't work. Not when you're just repeating. Yeah. Not when you're just repeating yeah. choruses as well. Definitely, yeah. Dead on the Bible. Oof, this is a bad one. The high-pitched screams and that drum beat do so little for me. It takes an age to properly get going. And then it's just so uninteresting when it does. I blanked out several times and had to listen to it multiple times just to write this little bit of note. The disjointed nature of the rhythm and the chorus are the worst parts for me. I like the drum. I like the, <laughs> I like the drum. <laughs> I like the drums, Dip. But yeah, I think there was a couple of songs I was really listening to because they went by and I'm like, Ooh. what am I, What was I getting from it? Yeah. So I was like, okay, give it another listen and still wasn't kind of landing with Landing me. with you, yeah. yeah. Too hard to be free. More pointless mm. sounds at the start. There's a running theme with Amen intros. But at least here we get something with that fire. Very energetic, very angry sounding, and I enjoy the very tempos as the guitars pick up a lot of the slack with some screechy feedback. I liked it. A lot of noise at the start, like a monster screeching. Nice and catchy, short and sharp. Okay. So I liked it, yeah. Nice, nice pace. Yeah. I'm grateful dead. I like that it's straight in with something that has a much more simple metal groove. It's a shame that it's all this track has, as the same riff was repeated to maddening effect. Mm. I was bored senseless after a minute with another two to go. The drop in tempos that split things apart didn't help because it just isn't very good. Mm, I thought a little bit of fillery, not my favourite track. It doesn't grab me as much as the others um, and just a little bit too long. Okay. Uh, yeah, it didn't do that for me either. Piss virus. Back to fucking around at the start. This has a darker tone and absolutely erupts when it gets going. Some serious vocal stretching here and there was a point where it gets low that I swear it kind of sounded like American Head Charge or Mud Vein or something. I guess this lot are very interchangeable. Mm. However, I do really like this one, though. It's very chaotic and very heavy. Mm. Um, I thought Piss Fire was a lovely name for a track. Mm. Um, nice feedback to the start. And um, like she's like, when it really gets going, yes. Good return to the good tracks that I enjoyed. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot, too. The Waiting 18. There's a feeling that this album is going to start to feel a bit long in the tooth as it is 14 tracks long. Here's a track where I wondered how much time was left overall. It has some catchiness, but it seems as though they're going for a radio hit here with the rockier rhythm and it just comes across uninspired. I don't care for it, even if it's not outright bad. Mm. I thought album was wearing a little bit thin. Yep. Um, I like the crunchy guitar and it feels more rock and roll than punk, like you were saying. It's yeah. more radio friendly. Like they wanted um, to purposely do that. Yeah. Um, but I like the group vocals on 18 though, when they get to sing like, you know, sing like the waiting 18 part. Okay. So, yeah. Take my head. Punk and roll. No ignoring the blazing heavy effort that this is. Hayden right at the back is one of the better offerings on the album. Mm. Punchy and heavy. The drums are banging here, but so is Casey Cares. I like that it is heavy without ever stepping into the high tempo territory. Mm. I really like this one. Yeah. Nice, nice, fast, chaotic intro this one. I like the heavier feel, catchy and dark. I like the line, take my head and rip it open. Mm. I was like, yeah, really, really enjoy Casey on this one. In your suit, there's nothing that makes this stand out. It's just fine. The usual amen shtick, which is never bad, but it's not a high effort offering, so it goes by in a blur of meh. It's very much penultimate track where you just kind of like, it's done, go. Yeah, mine was, I thought, ooh, he's angry at the man. Hmm. I like the chorus, um, but it feels like the content lyrics we've done many times before. Yeah, yeah, like for wearing sure. Like suit wearing and ooh, anti establishment. I don't know, maybe back obviously 20 years ago, there were slightly less songs have been done like that, but no. yeah. No, no, there wasn't. Yeah. And finally, here's the poison. And I was like a four minute, 10 second finale. My heart mm. sunk as it's just not a good sign. Mm. And sadly, I was right. Mm. There's some cool muddying of guitars. The drums are kind of punchy and the vocals are scathing without being too loud here. There's some tighter riff work as it goes on, but it never takes off. I was hoping for something that was more of a blast to the face finale. And this is more of a wet fart. And it's one where like, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And it's just like, that's how we go out. Yeah. 
Um, I was glad when it switches to more of a snarly kind of mm-hmm. vocals. Um, it was a nice structure and laid elements that I enjoyed, but it wasn't. I preferred "Take My Head" as a finisher. I thought that was yeah more twelve compact. tracks. Yeah, that yeah. would have been brilliant. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And let's see if we agree then on the top three. Okay, I went for the price of reality. Mm-hmm. Take my head and refuse amen. No, we don't. <laughs> of justified, mm-hmm. piss virus, and take my head. Yeah, so, so one, one, one out of three. Yeah, yeah it's um, I expected it to be worse overall, yeah, I, and it wasn't. Yeah, I enjoyed it more because I, I, I'm not overly keen on like war punk, like the punkier side, but it's felt like quite heavy, and the quality of the the sound how they put it together I was like okay yeah I can really get behind this maybe it's not more of an American punk thing that I prefer maybe. more to British punk like the oi oi kind of stuff oi oi yeah oi oi you love but, it yeah I, I, I definitely play some of these tracks again so. Amen's we have come for your parents let us know your thoughts in the comments thank you very much for watching you can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook Instagram Twitter and Tumblr Go to Patreon and help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?